Hey, so uh, remember what I said in the last video? So maybe once we get to that area, we can then go into ultra space and continue our adventure there, essentially making it a fifth island. If this was to the scale of a fifth island, it would need a few things. The first of which would be more ultra beasts. Well, look what we got in the latest Nintendo Direct, two brand new ultra beasts. We don't know their true names yet, but we do know their UB classifications, and that is UB Burst and and UB Assembly, though I'm sure most of you know this already, and I'm sure you've seen a plethora of other Pokemon channels put out their breakdown or thoughts on the whole Nintendo Direct trailer. So I will spare you with that, but what I'm here to do is to give my speculation on what types these Ultra Beasts could be, as well as a few other things. Plus, there is something in the trailer that I noticed that I have yet to see many people talk about, and that is specifically to do with UB Burst. And on that note, I guess that's a good place to start, actually. Ah yes, UB Burst definitely seems to be based off of a carnival theme here. And I don't know about you guys, but aesthetically speaking, when it comes to the whole carnival aspect, I think fairy type is definitely the biggest possibility here. It really highlights the whole whimsical and mystical feel of going to the circus. But if that is true, that UB Burst is a fairy type, I also think it's going to have a secondary type, and here's why. In one of the trailers, we see Burst using what appears to be a signature move of some kind, which is also rather interesting for an Ultra Beast. We haven't exactly seen anything like that before, but that's also something important to note. Because it appears to be a signature move, it would most likely be the same type as this Ultra Beast. And the trailer I was talking about when it actually launches this attack onto Decidueye, it deals super effective damage. So what exactly can deal super effective damage to a Decidueye? Well, the possibilities for the type of this move would be either Fire, Ice, flying, ghost, and dark. So let's work our way through those. Dark, at least to me, is the most unlikely one, as this Ultra Beast gives off a very whimsical vibe to it. Nothing indicates any malice at all. As well, the attack itself is rather colorful, so I highly doubt it would be a dark type move. Same thing goes with the ghost type. Now, it's not completely ruled out. It's slightly more likely than the dark type, but pretty much for the same reason that I don't think it's a dark type move, I don't think it's a ghost type move either. Now we come to the three that are a little bit more likely. First of those is the flying type, which I don't really have anything to rule it out, but I don't have anything to highlight it either. The other type is ice, and honestly I think this is a little bit less likely than flying, but still not ruling that one out. Now there's a reason I saved this one for last, and that would be fire which is personally what I think is going to be the actual typing, as the attack itself definitely seems to be based off that of a firework. And again, the UB classification for this is burst, after all, so it, it kind of makes sense that it would go with a fireworks kind of theme, and that really fits in with the other circus theme it has going. So the final verdict, UB burst will most likely be a fairy and fire type. Real quick, another little cherry on top of that theory is the fact fact that we have yet to see a fairy fire type in the game, and the Ultra Beasts are supposed to be these weird creatures from another dimension, so giving them a weird type that hasn't been seen before would kind of make a little bit of sense. We certainly can't forget about UB Assembly though, however this one doesn't quite seem to be as straightforward, though aesthetically it certainly does give it away, but I'm a little bit unsure, as it could either be a rock type or it could also be a steel type, but personally judging from the cry and and the fact that it can learn iron defense, it's probably going to be a steel type, primarily. Though the fact that it can learn iron defense is definitely not, well, ironclad proof, as many non-steel type Pokemon can actually learn the move iron defense. Though as you can see, a large amount of steel type Pokemon do make up that list. As far as the secondary typing goes, we can go off of the name as a clue. It is UB Assembly, and not only the name, but also a bit of the design as well. One of the reasons I feel it's called Assembly is because it's made up of multiple parts. This Ultra Beast is not simply an 
an Ultra Beast in itself, but rather a conglomerate of smaller creatures to create this one large one. As each of the, I guess we can call them bricks, that make up this Pokemon do seem to act on their own accord, and each of them have an eye. Even the bricks acting as legs still have an eye as well. And in order to act in unison like this, and communicate within what I guess we can call a colony, well, it would most likely be a psychic type. Now, definitely less likely than the psychic type, but still another possibility could be the dark type. I don't know, there's just something about all those multiple eyes coming and staring at you like that. It seems rather ominous, and therefore the dark type could possibly fit. So, final verdict for me, UB Assembly is most likely going to be a steel and psychic type. Though some runners-up could be a steel and rock type, rock and psychic type, or steel and dark type. Or, I guess, rock and dark type. Though I am fairly convinced on the steel psychic typing. It's certainly not a unique typing like the one I'm speculating for UB Burst, however it still fits the theme rather well. While I'm here though, I guess I can speculate on the stats. Because why not? If I get this right, it just means more bragging rights. And if not, well, I had fun speculating. So they could do this one of two ways. One is where they are counterparts. So UB Assembly would have really high physical defense, whereas UB Burst could have really high special defense. They are exclusive to different versions after all, making the counterpart theory a little bit more sound. Though the original counterparts didn't do that, so what they also could do is just simply have UB Assembly be a complete brick wall, quite literally, or rather a brick tower, meaning it would have incredibly high physical defense and incredibly high special defense. As most of the Ultra Beasts are, they do have crazy stat differences. I'm just hoping it has some sort of recovery as well as a fairly decent health stat, if that's the case. As far as UB Burst goes, I'm not entirely sure. If I had to throw something out there, I would say its two highest stats would be HP and Special Attack. And there we are, that will do it for my speculation, but if you have any ideas of your own, please leave them down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to subscribe or share it around. I don't normally ask this on my other channel, but since I'm starting out rather fresh on this channel, it wouldn't hurt to ask. Anyways guys, I of course have been the Awesome Soul, I thank you so very much for watching. I'll see you next time, take care.